All right, today we're going to be showing you the difference between an HVLB turbine and a conventional air spray gun or traditional air spray gun. In this case, it'll be conventional siphon feed. So when you're looking at a turbine gun, one of the main benefits is its portability. It can be dragged with you in the field. It can spray light to medium viscosity paint and in general is very good for field work. If you're in a shop all the time and have a compressor, then you may want to consider a compressed air gun. If you're looking to just get into painting and don't want to purchase a compressor or tie up shop space, then a turbine can make sense for occasional projects or even light to medium use. In general, if you're painting a lot all day and all in and out, the turbine will tend to not last as long due to the fact that it has to put, keep up with the need for air and wears down quicker in comparison to a compressor. The results, as long as you're spraying light to medium paint, will work just the same with this that it will with the air spray gun. We'll show you this. This is about a medium viscosity latex, so you can get an idea of how the turbine would work. And then we'll show you an air spray gun, so you can consider that as well. So like I said, this is about latex consistency. You'll notice you hear the unit running. So. With a turbine gun, you're pretty much going to have one air cap choice. With an air spray gun, you'll have multiple air caps, which gives you a little more flexibility over what you're spraying and gives you a better ability to break up material because these different air caps will offer different performance. So you can see my pattern's pretty big. It's about seven or six to eight inches. Uh, we'll show you an air spray gun. You can get a larger pattern, which can equal faster work depending on what you're doing. All right, so this is the traditional air spray gun. Same material, about a medium viscosity latex style paint. One other important thing to remember, spray guns like these are two or three hundred dollars. You can get lower cost guns. They won't typically spray as well, but a turbine sprayer, they'll start around 700 for the very basic one, which doesn't last is a kind of a small stage, three stage turbine sprayer. Won't last for a very long time before it needs a break from spraying and it typically won't always break a thicker material, potentially even a light or me a medium viscosity material like this latex style paint. Comparatively to use a compressor, you're looking at a 20 to 25 CFM compressor that may be two to three thousand dollars and then a spray gun which would be anywhere from $350 for a gun like this with a cup and everything. But you can also use a pressure pot. You can get those with the Pro Comp Series turbine sprayers from Graco, but a true two gallon pressure pot with control of air and fluid pressure at the pot uh, where you can spray about anything up to an epoxy, a zinc, or anything thicker than that. So thicker materials, you almost always need to consider the compressor or an airless sprayer. Uh, or if you're looking for, but if you're looking for portability and that finer finish, then the turbine could be a great option. If you're looking for just rougher finishes or faster work, the airless may make sense. And so we'll go ahead and show you this, the spray gun. So I have a 1.8 tip in this. You have a lot of choices on tips. They can, depending on the gun, range from 0.8 all the way up to 2.6 or higher. So you get a little more variety as far as what you have available to change how the material sprays. As you notice with air and compressed air, I can give it more pressure, which causes greater breakup or finer atomization. This is from when I used the turbine. This is from the spray gun. At the edge of the pattern, you can see there's a little bit of a finer breakup. Obviously, you can get a similar result if you were to thin the turbine, but a compressor, you're gonna get a little more ability to deliver power in the form of air to your paint, and that creates an opportunity for better breakup. So that's the air spray gun versus the HVLP turbine. If you have any questions about whether one would be right or better for your particular use, you can leave a message in the comments or get in touch with us and we'll help you with further guidance. Thank you for watching.